Hey everybody, welcome to vlog number 15. I admit it, I'm ADD. My, my attention span is terrible. Ugh, I don't know what the deal is with that. So I woke up this morning, I had my whole day planned out. This is what I was going to do. I had video editing I had to do for a client. I did uh, an apartment complex aerial shoot yesterday. They need a video, so I'm, I'm going to edit a video, produce a video for them. So I need to get on that. That's not really due till like the middle of next week. More pressing is I'm subbing in for a drummer friend of mine who broke his leg and he's got a gig Saturday and he can't do it. So I've got three days to learn 40 songs, 40 country songs. I'm not really a country player, but I've been playing long enough that anyways. I wake up early this morning, got up about 6.30, walked the dogs, went for a jog, got home about 7 o'clock, sat down to work. I get a text from my buddy Derek who's also my business partner, and he says, hey man, I gotta go fly this gig. Do you wanna go with me? The gig is like 1.4 miles from the international airport. Now anyone who knows anything about drone flying, you can't fly that close to an airport unless you have all your permits in a row. Well, my partner Derek is very fastidious when it comes to permits, so he's got all his ducks in a row. In all their wisdom, DJI implemented a firmware update which implemented NFZs or no-fly zones into their vehicles. So essentially you can't fly an Inspire 1 within I think like four miles of an airport. The Inspire 1 is disabled. You can't even start the rotors turning, right? So my friend Derek gets this software hack and he says, hey man, let's go try out this software hack, see if we can't do this job. So sure enough we get out there and he got it working. So I thought to myself, well I'll film his flight on my new Canon 70D. Well the Canon 70D has a small monitor so, and it's really bright out there and I couldn't see the teeny tiny drone in the monitor. I was using a 250 zoom lens and so I was zoomed in all the way and I still couldn't see him. So I thought, hey, I'll throw on my Fat Shark Dominator 3 goggles and that way I'll be able to see clearly what the lens sees. Unfortunately it didn't work and we don't know why. So I called, I got home, I called Canon and I said, hey man, I got this idea to run goggles into my Canon camera. And the tech support guy goes, hey, that's an awesome idea. Did it work out? I said, no, it didn't work. He said, did you test the camera? I go, yeah, I tested the camera in a television using the Fat Shark cable. So we knew the cable worked, the camera worked. But for some reason, I can't get the goggles to work in the HDMI port, which is too bad because that would be an awesome idea. Like if you're in a really bright situation and you're trying to shoot video, you can't, that little LCD lens, it's, it's just really hard to see. So now it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't learned any songs. I haven't done any editing. And instead I'm vlogging. I, I'm so ADD. It sucks being ADD, but that's just the way I am. So I live with it. Hey everybody, so it's Friday. I've got a gig tonight, but I've also got a gig Saturday with a band called Redneck. I'm sitting in with them. A uh, fellow drummer broke his leg and asked me to help him out. So I'm on third set of three. At the same time, I'm multitasking, doing video editing for a client and that project's actually almost finished up. So what I'm doing is I'm doing some editing, I'm doing some music learning, I'm doing some editing, doing some learning, editing, learning, and that's my whole day. So what I do is I have to get out and walk like every couple of hours I just get out and take a walk because all I'm doing is just sitting here all day. Drives me nuts. Because that's okay because it's about a thousand dollars worth of work here. So I can pay my rent this month. On the way to get drums, if your driveway empties out into a double yellow line, just move. Um. See, as a matter of courtesy, I don't block intersections. Uh. You just never know when somebody may want to make a turn and go home. Don't you wish more people were like me? Um. Playing with a band for the first time, there's always a little bit of excitement, but there's always some trepidation as well. I personally like playing from the cuff. I like the challenge. I've been performing for a long time. So I actually kind of enjoy playing from the cuff. 
but I've actually studied these songs, or at least taken notes. I haven't really studied them. Figure, we got three hours worth of material. So even if you just listen to it once, straight through, that would take three hours. Imagine taking each song, listening to it, making notes, listening to it again to make sure your notes are accurate. That's time consuming, very time consuming. Looks like we're on our way to the gig. Playing at Club Rhythm and Blues, what is it? Stoneface. Playing at Stoneface Tavern tonight. On our way to the gig. Looks like we might have some rain this evening. That rain cloud right there, that's about where the club is. Thank you. 